Hey guys, Thermal here. It's less than 24 hours before Shadowlands release. I hope you guys are as excited as I am to get into that content. I'm just wrapping up the gold farming series I've been doing on the raids and the different expansions. You can see I've done Cataclysm raids, Mists of Pandaria, Warlord of Draenor and Legion raids. I'm looking at how much gold each of these raids made, how long it took, and the gold per hour. I've also rated them based on my own personal preference, which ones I think are the best to um, farm for gold. I've also added in the mounts you can get from the specific raids, as well as which boss you have to kill to get those mounts for those mount collectors out there. So starting off, we're going to be looking at Cataclysm raids over here. I've said there is low gold uh, for each of these raids, despite having reasonable gold per hour. So the average gold for Cataclysm raids was 379, which you can see is much lower compared to the other expansions. Uh, we did get some reasonable gold per hour numbers, but what you need to take into account is, for example, Barrett and Hold, I'm only in the instance for two minutes, and it takes me probably four minutes to get to Barrett and Hold just in travel time. So that's why I think Cataclysm raids aren't very good for doing for gold per hour, but um, what it is good for is mounts. So you can see uh, Dragon Soul has three mounts, Fireland has two and uh, Throne of Four Winds has one mount to get. So if you're interested in improving your mount collection, I definitely recommend doing uh, the Cataclysm raids. So I've rated Firelands as the best one for Cataclysm, mainly because you're in the instance for a longer amount of time. You get that 687 gold, you get reasonable gold per hour. It's, it's not too bad. Uh, moving on to Mists of Pandaria raids. I've put down that I currently think that Mr. Pandaria raids are the best raids for gold farming right now in uh, pre-patch of Shadowlands. And I think that the Terrace of Endless Spring is the best raid for alts. I've put it as uh, number one. I think this is a really good method. Say you have eight alts, you're, you're an alt player, you're interested in that. Then you can log out those eight alts in Terrace of Endless Springs, and you can get uh, 731 times 8, around 5,600 gold uh, for 32 minutes. So that's really good uh, consistent gold per hour. I know other people have, um, you know, they're looking for the latest craze, which items are selling well on the auction house. But this is just a consistent method. You know, you want 5,600 gold a week, you can get it. Just uh, go on those alts, spend 30 minutes in that raid, um, clearing it out. And if you want, you can reset the difficulty and do it twice and then get that full around 10,000 gold uh, each week, which is a really good boost to the bank. Um, I did put Heart of Fear as a, as a second because it's getting really good gold per hour. You're in there for a bit longer, you're getting a bit more gold. Uh, that's another really good one to do as well. Going on to Warlords of Drainer, I think this is the best expansion for replayability. So you can do it on normal, you can do it on heroic, you can do it on mythic. The gold per hour is reasonable and the amount of time you're spending in the instance is reasonable as well. So you get pretty good yields. I did rate them, so Hellfire Citadel getting the best rating because you get uh, a lot of gold for being in there. Um, but in all honesty, these are fairly similar like it's, it's not too much difference between them um, it's really comes down to personal preference like which raids do you enjoy doing uh, which mechanics are you faster at doing uh, or prefer or more familiar with coming into legion raids i've said i predict that this is going to be the best raid for gold farming when everyone is a level 60 so we've uh, maxed out uh, right now I've put the Nighthold as the best in the Legion raids and that's because like you're getting really good gold per hour but you're also getting a lot of gold from that instance so 1907 and what we need to consider is when we are maxed we are going to be killing those bosses a lot faster like if I can knock off two minutes of each boss then that gold per hour is going to just go way up and um, so I do predict that 
coming into Shadowlands expansion, Legion raids are the way to go for gold farming. Uh, so that concludes the gold farming section. I'm now going to go over the mounts. So we've got uh, Cataclysm raids having quite a lot of mounts. So Throne of the Four Winds has the Drake of the South Wind from Ajakir. Firelands has the Pure Blood Firehawk and Flame Talon of Alice Razor from Ragnaros and Alice Razor. Dragon Soul has Experiment 12B, the Blazing Drake and Life Binders Handmaiden from Ultraxian, Deathwing and Deathwing Heroic. Then in the Mists of Pandaria raids, we've got Murgishan Vaults with the Astral Cloud Serpent from Elegon, really cool uh, mount there. Then Throne of Thunder, we've got Clutch of Ji Kun and Spawn of Horridan from Ji Kun and Horridan. Uh, the Siege of Orgrimmar has the Cochran Juggernaut from Garrosh Hellscream. Then in Warlords of Draenor, we've got Ironhoof Destroyer from Blackhand on Mythic Difficulty. Uh, the Hellfire Citadel has the Felsteel Annihilator on Archim from Archimond on Mythic Difficulty. And then the Legion Raids, which I personally think are the coolest mounts and the ones that I've been farming at the moment, is the Felblaze Infernal and Hellfire Infernal from Gul'dan and Gul'dan Mythic. The Abyss Worm from Mistress Sazine, and the Entoran Charhound and Shackled Urzul from Shatug and Argus the Unmaker on Mythic D Difficulty and Entorus the Burning Throne. Uh, so that's pretty much everything I wanted to go over today. Uh, I just wanted to mention um, if you do enjoy my videos and you'd like to support my channel to please subscribe. I know that about 90% of my viewers aren't subscribed to my channel and this really helps uh, me be able to build a community, grow my channel, um, put out more content that gets seen by more people. Also, if you do like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, have any recommendations, maybe in the comments section you want to tell me which one uh, you enjoy farming, maybe you're trying to get a mount, maybe you've been farming a raid for a very long time and still haven't got an amount, uh, let me know in the comments section. So that's it from me today. I hope you've gained something from this video and I look forward to seeing everyone in Shadowlands. I look forward to putting out more content for Shadowlands as well. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.